Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. The name of today's video or the title is The Art of Letting Go or it's about letting go. So what is letting go? I'll tell you what not letting go is. <laughs> you ever been, let's see, I don't know, at work or talking to a friend or somebody, a stranger, or somebody cuts you off or something and literally for the rest of the day or hopefully only the rest of the day or more, that shit just bugs you. <laughs> Some guy cuts you off and it just ruins your mood and you let it ruin your mood. And so you're not letting it go. Or somebody, something said at work or maybe something that you said at work uh, was offensive or you were offended by and then you literally let it bother you. I think the art of letting go is one of the most important skills and practices that we can learn as human beings because the reason why what happens is when we don't let go this shit accumulates in our bodies so these situations we have in life as we go through whether they're in our relationships or whatever it may be what often happens is unless we have trained ourselves or are conscious to let go of that shit it can follow us everywhere and come out in ways in which we don't want it to come out so an extreme example of this is somebody who is constantly stressed at work right this is just an example obviously someone who goes their nine to five but they hate it and every day they go and they hate their job and they're super stressed out and this accumulated stress over time builds up in their body and in their mind so instead of learning how to let go creating space for something new to come in and we'll talk about that in a second they hold on to this shit and over time after they're holding on to this shit it builds up and then it can manifest itself in the form of addiction right maybe someone hates their job they're super stressed out so every night they can't wait to get home and have a bottle of wine or you know a couple cocktails or whatever it is and there's nothing wrong don't take it out of context with coming home after a hard day at work relaxing smoking a bowl whatever you like to do but when it becomes a way to consistently numb the pain that you're having or the discomfort and pardon the sirens I'm out on my my friend's balcony here and he lives downtown but back to my point about letting go it only becomes a problem about not letting go when it manifests itself in these different ways this is where addictions I think come from is when people don't learn how to handle their stress and their emotions in a healthy way so they look for an outlet to numb the pain or to run away from whatever it is they actually need to face in order to just get to the root of the problem it's kind of like you know putting the band-aid on rather than you know taking the source of the uh, the the you know whatever the little piece of glass that's in the cut you know you understand what i'm saying <laughs> symptoms instead of the root cause is what i'm trying to say so about letting go it's interesting like so many of us want to improve our lives and if you're watching my channel my video you're probably really looking at improving your life or changing in some way because it's what a lot of my content is about even the fitness stuff this is what it's about it's about improving yourself and the other part about letting go is when we don't let go we're basically blocking the space for something new to come into our lives so maybe you want a new relationship and you've want a new partner and you want someone to come into your life but you're so hung up on your ex still because you really haven't processed the emotions or the pain so there's no space for somebody new to come in because mentally emotionally spiritually you're so hung up on this other person even though what you really want is a partner so you've got to learn to let go of whatever it was in the past to allow the space to open up and for something better to come in another example is a job right man I really want a new job I really want something to come in are you super attached? Have you let go of the past? Have you opened up space in your life for something new to come in? Or are you still holding on to you know, the job that you used to have that you really liked that let go of you because of COVID or whatever? Again, just examples, but I think you understand my point. It's about letting go. And what I've learned about this is it's such a practice. It's a practice, it's a skill, it's never ending. The situations are infinite. So when you can learn to let go, now all of a sudden you're allowing yourself to be at peace with whatever it was and whatever will be and you're living in the present moment uh, there's a quote that came to mind I remember I heard this years ago um, a girl I was dating her roommate told me I think it's actually Lao Tzu that said it uh, and the saying is or the quote is depression is for people who dwell in the past 
Anxiety is for people who live in the future, and peace is for people who live in the present. And so how does this pertain or relate to letting go? Well, think about it. If you are someone who holds on to shit, maybe, again, somebody said something to you and you just can't let it go, you're just so pissed off from something that happened last week, well, all of a sudden, you're just like wasting your time and your energy dwelling on something in the past. You gotta let that shit go and move forward. Now, something that comes to mind is, again, let's look at depression, which is unfortunately something that's more common than not. Depression is when you're basically living in the past of what you should have done, actions you should have taken, things you should have said that you obviously can't do shit about now, but you're holding on to it. So you're dwelling in the past and you're having all these regrets and you're literally rethinking these scenarios and you're getting sad about this situation and making it something in your head that it's useless to do because you can't change, it's in the past. So the opportunity again is to practice the skill of letting go. Let go of what happened yesterday, let go of what happened last week, let go of what happened in your childhood, let go of what happened uh, in the car ride over to whatever, this dinner or whatever. Let go of that shit and learn to live in the present. And I know it's not easy, man. That's why I say it's a practice. It's never ending. It's unlimited. It never stops. And just like everything else, it's a game. And so you have to level up. When you learn to let go to another level, there might be something that comes into your life that you just can't get over. It's a real mean trigger for you. That trigger is offering you an opportunity to look at something and heal. And once you heal past it, you'll be able to let go. And on that note, I think that's a great tool to learn and practice how to let go of things. When you're triggered, if you're having trouble letting go of an emotion, a feeling, a situation, a person, a job, whatever the case may be, look at what the lesson is. What's the lesson that you need to learn from that situation, job, etc.? Because when you learn the lesson and you really internalize it and move forward with that, whatever situation that you're holding on to, whatever energy, will be much easier to let go of because you've acknowledged what happened You look at this and say, man, okay, this doesn't serve me anymore. I understand that next time I'm like that or in a relationship like that, I'm just not going to do that. I'm just not going to do that. And what will happen is you'll allow yourself to let go and all of a sudden you'll become more peaceful. Again, going back to that quote that I shared with you, you'll be living in the present. And in the present moment is where all the good shit happens because in the present moment is where you have an opportunity to make a new choice and do something different going forward. And the same thing, uh, anxiety, similar with letting go, but I think it pertains more to depression. But certainly with anxiety, when you're living in the future, you are basically attached to something that hasn't happened yet. So you're still holding on to something on, you know, maybe a situation that you want to happen or you want to, you know, to be this way or you really want, you know, this job to pan out that you interviewed for but you're attached to it like a motherfucker. And so what happens is if you don't get it, you're just setting yourself up for crippling disappointment and expectations are gonna screw you over. So again, you've got to let go of the expectation. You've got to let go of the attachment of what it will or may be or may not be in order to be present now. Because as you practice being present and letting go, you're able to show up as best you can as the realest version of you in this moment. And in reality, that's the most effective way to go through life because you can't control what's gonna happen in the future. And what's done is done in the past. So let go, let go. And I think the most important thing or one of the most important things and the value of this is when you learn to let go, you're freeing yourself of any type of stuck energy and stagnation. So in the context of depression and anxiety, when you let go of the expectations of the future, you're allowed to enjoy whatever's happening in front of you. And when you let go of whatever happened in the past, you're no longer dragging all these heavy bags from whatever happened to you and you're able to create something new in the moment. So whatever, you know, I'll use this example uh, as a personal example, you know, whatever stuff you went through in childhood, right? Man, I had all kinds of crazy abandonment shit and all that stuff. I had to learn the lessons that those situations taught me or were wanting to teach me in order to heal. And until I really learned those uh, you know, lessons and went through the pain and the grieving and the physical uh, cathartic release of the trauma that was stored in my body, I was literally carrying all of that pain with me going forward, uh, specifically with my relationships with women. 
um, being adopted, then having my mom die super early, and then my sister and I basically fought and hated each other all up to 14 years old when, um, she, or even earlier, because she moved out when she was 17, so all the way up to like 13 years old. She had a gnarly like 15, 16 years of my life. And so I didn't trust women. I had all this unresolved pain. I had all these abandonment issues and it would manifest itself as like codependency and this neediness when I get into a relationship with a girl and the man that I showed up to be when I was on my own, I would attach and just become this completely different person. So I had to learn to let go of my past and the story that I was carrying with me because as I was carrying that story, I was carrying all that pain with me into these other relationships and in the end, screwing myself and screwing the girl I was with. So we've got to acknowledge the pain, acknowledge what's going on, acknowledge our feelings, our emotions, how we feel, and then learn to process that by acknowledging and reflecting and writing down the lessons and reinforcing those lessons that these situations are teaching us. And as we do that, as we acknowledge the lessons, as we come to peace with whatever emotions are there, we're letting go in our heart, we're letting go in our bodies, we're letting go in our minds of everything that happened in the past. And therefore, again, in this moment and going forward, it gives us the opportunity to take the knowledge that we've learned and create something new for what we really do want. So for in my case, creating the relationships I do with want with women. I don't want some crazy codependent shit. I wouldn't want that with a girl who's like codependent and like clinging on me. So I certainly don't want to be that. So again, the opportunity is to understand that it's a never ending practice and it's something that we all get to do and it's a valuable skill and tool that we can use to release our past in order to free up energy that we can use to create the future that we want. And that's what it's about. So. As far as letting go, that's it for today for this particular video. So think about what you need to let go of. What situation, what energy in your heart, what resentment are you holding on and against who? Someone who you met 10 years ago who broke your heart then but it's still you're carrying that pain and then it's screwing you for every other relationship? You're giving that power away to that person. Or, or your old boss and the job that you used to have, the fantasy of the way that you used to. The reality is there's probably a better job waiting for you around the corner, but energetically, spiritually, in your heart, and your mind, your emotions, since you're so attached to the way things used to be, again, there's no space for you to receive that new job that the universe is trying to send your way. So you gotta let go of the emotions, you gotta let go of the shit of the past. Process the pain, process the anger, process the sadness, the resentment, the grief, whatever the hell emotion it is for you for that situation. Identify the situation, feel the feeling, identify the feeling and allow yourself to process the feeling and emotions, learn the lessons from it, and then set an intention going forward with the clarity that it's a practice and you're gonna have to reinforce it over time and watch how much more free you become. This is what the healing journey is about. It's about learning the lessons of the past, coming to peace with the pain or the grief or the emotions, and then going forward with that knowledge now. This is what growth is about. It's what healing, growth, and personal development is about. Because if something in your life that you really want, that you've been working on, isn't quite there, ask yourself, is there something that you're holding on to from the past that's related to that? And then again, go through the process of identifying, processing the emotions and the feelings, learning the lessons, and then I bet you magic will happen in your life and that partner, that job, that situation, whatever, or just feeling better in general, letting go of depression, anxiety, and all that stuff, you'll just be more relaxed, you'll be more chill, you'll enjoy your life, you'll enjoy waking up in the morning, having a cup of coffee, because again, you're present, and you're not worried about what happened in the past because you practice letting go, and you're not worried about what happens in the future because you're living in the now, and when you live in the now, you can make whatever the hell you want happen in the future, and it's much easier. So practice letting go, process it, learn it, then move forward with the lessons, and time to level up, man. Life is a game, so one step at a time, we level up, learn the lessons, and let go. Appreciate you watching. Uh, if this video was of any value to you, I would love if you share it with anybody that you think would also find it valuable, uh, and also like and subscribe the video, uh, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, the reality is, as I've shared before, my intention is to grow my channel, not just for me, but I know that this is my purpose, is to share these messages. And the only way that we can share these messages 
that hopefully you are finding of value is to get it out into the YouTube algorithm. So that's why, you know, the like, the subscribe, comment, all that crap. You know how, you know, the song and dance, man, you know how it goes. So appreciate you watching. Love and light to you and yours, and I'll see you on the next video.